Welcome back. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we get to start another new unit. It's so fun. In this unit, we're going to be talking about the analysis of two quantitative variables. So remember that quantitative variables are meaningful numbers. And in this unit, it's also important to note that the two quantitative variables have to be collected on um, the same individual. So individual, remember, doesn't have to refer to a person, but it has to be the same maybe city or the same day, but all of the measurements that are for the two quantitative variables, each individual will have both of those. So within this unit, we're not going to be doing any statistical inference. We're just going to be basically describing two quantitative variables. We'll do that through scatter plots, and I'll show you um, where to put an explanatory and response variable on a scatter plot, and then how to describe it. We'll talk about linear correlation, which is basically looking at the strength and direction of the two variables relationship. Um, and we'll talk about how outliers can impact that. We'll also talk about linear regression, which is essentially going to be if the relationship is linear, creating a line uh, for that. And then we'll be using that to uh, predict values. And within that prediction um, discussion, we'll talk about extrapolation and why that's bad. Uh, we'll talk about the coefficient of determination, uh, which some of you may know as R squared. And that we'll talk about uh, how much variability is explained by the model that we've created. Then we'll talk about association and causation, which I know many of you have heard the phrase, correlation does not imply causation. So it's very possible for you to see that two quantitative variables have a correlation, uh, but it's not necessarily that one is causing the other. So we'll talk about that. And then at the very end, we'll discuss how sometimes when you have scatter plots or you have two quantitative variables, it's valuable to add in more variables to be able to see that relationship more clearly. Um, and we'll discuss that and that will be referred to as multivariable thinking. It's exciting. I can't wait to get on this journey with you. I'll see you in the next video where we start talking about the humble scatterplot. See you there.